Vermont Fledgling Writers Community. This is Kathy Reuter again, and we are interviewing Marie Sontag of ACFW DFW, which is American Christian Fiction Writers, Dallas Fort Worth chapter. And this is interview number seven for Fledgling Fast 15. Hi, Marie. How are you? Good, good. Good reason to get up. <laughs> <laughs> excellent, excellent. So we are here to talk about. ACFW National a little bit, mostly about the Dallas Fort Worth chapter, but also a little bit about, well, actually a lot about your upcoming conference for ACFW DFW that's coming up really shortly, right? It is next month. Excellent. Okay, so could you tell us a little bit about your group and your role in it? Currently, I'm the vice president on our board. So that gives me some different hats to wear. Um, I've been a member since I've moved here almost four years ago now. Excellent. Excellent. And what does American Christian Fiction Writers, what are they? <laughs> it's a group of writers, both men and women, who are writing with a Christian worldview. And they want to write not only as their passion and their drive, but also to encourage people whatever genre, it's, all genres are included in that. Excellent, excellent, okay. And is it just new writers? Are there veteran writers? Oh, good question. Yes, there's writers at all levels, beginning, intermediate, several have published a multitude of books. One comes to mind in particular, who's gonna be one of our speakers. And they all, everyone wants to share what they've learned along the way. It's a very open, positive, encouraging group. Fantastic. And is it, um, how often are the meetings usually? The meetings are once a month, the second Saturday of the month. So with the Dallas Fort Worth chapter, do you have, is, is it a get together? Is it talking amongst yourselves? What do you do? We have a speaker every month, uh, someone who's had experience in writing. Uh, Sometimes it's not exactly writing, it might be just a different facet of writing that we haven't touched on before. So we have a speaker every month, usually face-to-face. -face. We meet in a church in Arlington, but of course right now we've been meeting since, what, uh, April? We've been meeting on Zoom. Um, okay, so tell us a little bit about the national organization and being a chapter of them. Oh, let's see. Um, there's a lot of benefits of being a national member. Um, I could just touch on those for a second. We have, uh, is that okay? Sure. Yeah, because if you're a member of a local group, like our DFW one, you have to first be a member of the national group. Okay. And so as a member of that national group, there are a lot of resources. For one, they have a yearly conference Again, this year it'll be on Zoom, uh, but they have a yearly conference in different places around the United States. And as a member, you get a special rate and they have editor appointments, wonderful classes. And it's so fun, especially to meet people face to face. Uh, then we have writing courses through the national uh, that right now you can take online critique groups that are also online through national genre groups where you can meet with uh, people that are part of your tribe, so to speak. Like for That's me, I'm cool. middle grade fiction and there's not a lot of those in our local groups, so that helps. Um, contests. So, let me stop you there for just a second. So sure, sure. you're, you're a middle grade uh, fiction writer? Right. So you can, because you don't have a lot of them in your local group, you get to actually meet those type of people online from all over. Um, Correct, from all over. Oh, that's yeah. fantastic. Okay. And now it's people in the national group that are international, so we get to meet people from other countries as well. That's very cool. Okay. Yeah. So anything else about national that... Um, besides <laughs> webinars and prayer loop, uh, you, oh, you get to list your novel or novels on their uh, fiction finder, so that gives you a little more publicity for that. Oh, that's fantastic. Okay. So, Marie, can you tell us, let's talk a little bit about COVID-19 and how it has affected your program and what you guys are doing about it. Uh, okay. Well, it hit for us 
uh, right when we were planning what we call our mini conference. Okay. A mini conference is where instead of meeting just from 1030 to noon on a Saturday, uh, we meet instead from usually eight to three and we have several speakers like a conference. It's a nice way to keep costs low and yet still have a conference like atmosphere. So we were planning this in April and we had to pull it down because of COVID. Okay. So we were able to postpone it until August. So we will be having this mini conference next month for our, our usual date of the second Saturday of the month, but instead it'll be our mini conference. Okay, so so um, it's gonna be on the second Saturday of the month like normal, but it's going to be a longer day. Right, it's the longer day from 9 a.m. until 3 p.m. with a break for lunch. We'll have separate, separate sessions with different speakers, and it will be on Zoom, not face-to-face. -face. Okay, okay, so you're going to actually be meeting together, but on Zoom. Right. Cool, okay. So, well, well that's good that you guys can actually all do it that way. Um, and to mention, it's open... Uh, to anyone, you don't have to be a member for the mini conference. It's, oh, okay. It's, Even if you have done this two times already, it's still open? Correct. Even okay. if you've already been to two of our meetings and you still haven't become a member. This is okay. one exception. <laughs> <laughs> okay, great, great. All right, so um, let's get into some more information the about itself. Um, you said normally it would take place at the... Um, Right. Our, our meeting place, if it was face to face, it would be at uh, the church in Arlington, Arlington Community Church, but okay. it'll be, like I said, on Zoom. Okay. And it has been rescheduled to August 8th, August correct? 8th. Right, okay. August 8th. Okay. And you need to register, just, you can register all the way up until the August 7th by noon in order to get the. Uh, the price at the, twenty the early bird special right right okay. but wait until the day before august 7th you'll only have till noon and then on that day it'll be thirty dollars so you have to register before the seventh okay and how much is it to register before that twenty dollars twenty dollars oh that's a really good discount then if you yeah, if you don't day. wait till the last minute right exactly, exactly. okay excellent excellent Okay, um, so we've already said the time, which is 9 to 3, and right. the place, and the invitations will be sent how? They, you just need to go to Facebook and look up ACFW, DFW. Uh, that'll get you to our Facebook page, and we will have registration information on there soon. Okay. The details and are there, but registration will be in a few, probably later this week. Okay, and actually in the bottom, uh, in our description, we will be having all your links. So they'll be able to get there really easy through the links okay. for Correct. anybody watching. Okay, so Marie, can you please tell us about who your speakers are going to be at the conference? Sure, I'd love to. Right. Melanie Stiles is coming to us from Houston. She's a writer, speaker, life coach. She'll be Great. giving us a message titled Delivering. A devotional message how to write it how to format it and places that you can pitch this message oh fantastic also, also we'll be having jessica white she was a former member of our acfw dfw group but has moved to oklahoma so it'll be fun to hear her speak on finding your ideal audience jessica has written several books and we're really looking forward to having her with us again. Okay, and how, what is the uh, premise of the finding your ideal audience? Yes, uh, she'll be talking about uh, how that can kind of feel like searching for your soulmate as you're looking for your audience. She says uh, she'll teach us how to identify the qualities of our ideal reader where we can find our ideal readers and what you need to do to woo them that sounds interesting oh, and then cool. also build lasting relationships with your readers which sounds very good yeah it does next we also will have joy massenberg she used to be part of our acfd dfw group but she has now formed her own local chapter in east texas her talk is titled what to do when the honeymoon is over 
I'm looking forward to that because she described it at, as uh, the presentation equipping us to have craft practices that'll enable us to produce a, a finished manuscript no matter what. As she says, in sickness and in health, richer or poorer, until you write the end. Oh, so, that's, that's going to be helpful for a lot of people. Yeah, that sounds really good. Our keynote speaker is Lena Nelson Dooley, who is a part of our local chapter at the present time and has been. She's the one who's written over 40 books, so you don't want to miss this. She'll be giving us two separate talks. Okay. One of these topic, first topic is The Wonderful Plans Our Marvelous God Has for You, and that's an inspirational talk as our, our keynote. Uh, we all need inspiration, so that'll be a good uplifting talk for us. That specifically, she says, is going to cover how God has a plan for your life and your writing. She says his plans are always perfect and timely. Do you really know how much he loves you? Oh, excellent. <laughs> Her second topic is called layering pizzazz. And here she's going to give us some, I would call it secret sauce, uh, because oh, cool. this is an approach that she has used in her writing. And it's many people have found it helpful so that they can dig deeper into their writing and make their work more interesting. So that should be an exciting workshop for us to hear. Excellent. Okay, so four speakers, five presentations, nine to three for $20. Right. That is such a good, that's excellent. It's a good deal. Yeah. yeah. With those topics. Okay. So um, will the attendees be able to find out any more about the speakers beforehand? Will, can you give us, can you give us links? Yes, uh, we will have links on the registration so that you can go to their web page. You can see what they, what their books are that they've published. Um, and then I'm not sure, but I think we may be planning possibly some personal interaction with them. At least you can oh. enter into the chat box questions that you might have for them. So it would be good to research a little bit about the speakers beforehand and you can get some very personal um, tidbits from them. Excellent. Okay. All right. And then we'll put in um, the, the stuff that you give us, we'll put it, that into the description below as well. Yes. Okay. And um, so, if you'd like, I can show you, show you uh, a flyer just to give you a visual of what you'll see when you go to our webpage. Fantastic. So for. Okay, let's see here. Uh, so here's a glimpse at our flyer Fantastic. Okay. called Love This Writing Life. That's our theme. And, uh, oh, it's kind of nice to know that our president, Stacy, uh, had her, was able to ask her daughter to create this for us. Stacy's daughter is a graphic designer, so that's kind of nice that we keep everything, can keep, have enough talent to keep everything in-house. Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah. This so, is a, okay, so this is what we'll be looking for when we go to ACFW, DFW on Facebook. And, um, right. Okay. Excellent. Yeah. That Excellent. Logo. So now you can put some faces with the names that I shared for our different speakers. Okay. Okay. So, so that is all about your conference itself. How do we find out, how do we find out the information about ACFW, DFW on social media? Where do we go to look for you? That's a good question. Uh, I'll give you some links. I'll go ahead and tell you what they are. And then as you mentioned, I think you said you'll put them at the end. So sure. we could also see them. So um, first, our Facebook page is www.facebook.com slash DFW Ready, R-E-A-D-Y, Writers, W-R-I-T-E-R-S. That's our little nickname, Ready Writers. That's our Facebook page. Our web page, which is new uh, and refined, is acfwdfwtx.com. Okay. We also are on social media on Twitter. 
which is twitter.com slash ACFW DFW. And uh, you can find us on Instagram at instagram.com slash ACFW DFW. You're sensing a trend here. And then uh, <laughs> if you're interested, I can also give you the national website oh, for ACFW. Absolutely. That is www acfw.com awesome okay and we will definitely put all of these links in the description so people can click on those great uh, any other resources from acfw dfw yourselves yes <laughs> if you're a member of our local group then you can have your name on our website with links to either your one link either your facebook page or your web page or maybe your Instagram account, whatever you want it linked to, it will go there so that you get more publicity. And it's only for members of our group. Oh, okay. Fantastic. So we can all see it and we get to find out who's in your group. That's fantastic. Right. right. Okay. So, so I'm also going to be mentioning below um, for people who are watching this, a book about how to get the most out of attending writers conferences and some information on how to attend zoom meetings in case we have new people here that would like to go to this conference and be able to be part of it and they will know a little bit more about zoom ahead of time to make it easier on them so is there anything else you'd like to mention about acfw dfw or the conference coming up whatever you would like to say to our writers community. I just hope to see you there at the event and it's great to have community like this. Excellent. Thank you very much, Marie, for stopping in today and telling us about ACFW DFW Love This Writing Conference. And again, we'll mention that it is from nine to three on Saturday, August 8th. But you do need to get your tickets soon so you can get that discount. That's right. And the links will be below and um, the ticket sales will be going on later this week. Yes. Thanks so much for being here with us today, Marie. We really appreciate you stopping in and um, we hope to see new faces from fledgling community at ACFW, DFW. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thanks. All Take right. care. Bye.